I'm stuck in the past. This is YC149. YC1494. Tech. I gotta get used to saying that. But this is my first official video. My first official tutorial video that was meant to be on this channel. The other one up there does not count because that was going to go on my yellow card 1494 channel, but I just put it up on this channel because I had just made it and I needed something to put on there because I wanted to get some videos out there so I could start getting my channel known. But other than that, this is going to be my first channel. I have, or I am, if it's not done already, uploading. Yeah, see there it's done. My intro for this channel. Uh, you can go watch that. <clears throat> um, but... This is my first tutorial video, and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your ATI Radeon graphics card with a free open source utility called ATI Tool. Now, I know there are a lot of people out there that are going to say, oh, this isn't, everybody knows this. Well, this is for the people that are not so computer literate um, in stuff like overclocking and just um, more upscale kind of advanced computer stuff um, for the more basic user who wants to know how to do some of this stuff. I figured out how to do all this stuff on my own. I learned it all from the internet. Hang on. I learned it all from the internet. I know I, I've learned more in the past three weeks probably than I have my entire life about computers. So I know a lot. Um, I know I, you probably get the impression that I know jack about computers because <clears throat> why would a 15 year old know anything about computers but I know a lot so let's just get started I'm gonna stop rambling and further videos will not be like this they will just be what I'm going to do and then <clears throat> um yeah it'll just be straight what I'm doing show you how to do it and then it's done so this is ATI tool. Now, unfortunately, it's only getting that many frames per second because I'm recording, but this is a very simple tool to use. Now, before you do anything, it's gonna, I'm pretty sure it'll start up with this 3D view closed. So you're gonna click on show 3D view. Hopefully, it comes up because my computer's going slow. But you're gonna click on show 3D view. And then before you do anything, you're going to go into settings. And then you're going to go to this drop down menu and click on miscellaneous. And then the f what you're want to going to want to do is if you have the ATI Radeon 9000, 9200, 9550 or 9600, they have locked core clocks. They cannot be changed unless you check this box. I'll unclock it. Oh, that's gay, but... Okay, it didn't make me do it. But you have to check that box, or else it won't let you overclock any of these four cards. So when you're done with that, just click back. And then when you're ready... Now, depending on what your core clock is, I know what mine is. It's my default core clock is 250, and my default mem clock is 200, mem being memory. So, what you want to do now? This will reset itself if you get too high. If it you do too high of an overclock, because I have tried this before, I have gone up to 500 um, core, uh, 500 megahertz core clock, and a oh, I forget what I did like. 300 or 350 megahertz mem clock and it actually reset the tool so it underclocked it for me so what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is you just wanna play around with it you don't wanna overclock your memory too much cause you, just, you don't wanna do that don't overclock it too much this is the first time I overclocked it I had it set at 356 and 219 but you're just gonna wanna play around with it a bit I mean just go up maybe a hundred megahertz pastures so let's go 350 here and then probably about 20 to 30 on here first so that's what I did the first time I think 
and then it'll be overclocked. You're overclocking your CPU, and see, I got a jump of frames there. Now, I have this set up, but I'm going to go up to my OC2, and then if you have something saved, just dr click on this drop down menu and click on it and click load, and it'll load it. And there I get, I should get another nice boost of frames. Go up to this. A fairly nice boost of frames. Now this is my maximum overclock that I have found. Right here. <clears throat> I cannot exceed that. And usually when I'm playing games, when it's just showing this 3D view here, it'll give me 80 frames average. When I'm playing games, I'll usually get, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 frames pretty good when I'm playing not too graphically intense games stuff like combat arms and on crossfire I'll get up to a hundred frames but pretty good so that's how you overclock a Radeon CPU or CPU GPU it's free open source utility just play around with it I'm gonna underclock this now and if you do want to save something just click on new name it whatever you want and click OK um, I'm gonna delete that because I don't want it in there Huh. <clears throat> so, just mess around with it. Um, I'll put a link probably in this underbar um, to the website where you can download this ATI tool. And that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks, guys. Talk to you another time.